Archie Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again, and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is my cozy corner. And I wanna show you a little centerpiece too here on the credenza, and I need to do just a couple of things to that. But first, we're gonna work on the cozy corner. And as you can see here, some of you may not have seen my big ladder that I use for my cozy corner. And this is it, this is, a, I am five eight and a half, probably five eight now because I'm shrinking. <laughs> but this is a six foot ladder. And I got this over in Williamsburg at an old country store that is no longer open, unfortunately, over there. We love that store. So, but this is it. It's just a black ladder with like a lighter colored rung on it. It has one, two, three, four, five rungs and it gets larger as it, it's, you know, smaller at the top and kind of bows out, you know, at the bottom or flares out at the bottom a little bit. And it always sits right here in this corner, hence the name Cozy Corner. And where I got the name Cozy Corner from was from my dear friend Liz, not Liz at Traditions by the Seasons, although she comes up with fabulous ideas. <laughs> love that girl, I tell you, I love that girl. Uh, but this I'm talking about my Liz, my dear friend Liz, who was the one that encouraged me to start my blog and then my blog. Uh, and she, said one day, Arlen, you need to come up with a name for those really pretty little vignettes that you do in corners all the time. So that's where I came up with the name Cozy Corner. And this was the first Cozy Corner that I did in this house. This is my most favorite Cozy Corner to create. And that's what we're gonna work on today. We're pretty much just gonna be putting it back together. We're gonna start out, I'm gonna go off camera for a little while here, but I wanted to explain everything to you first because Chris has gotta help me put this together. I cannot handle this by myself. It gets all discombobulated. I get knocked in the head. I get frustrated and I just want to say a few choice words that I don't normally say. So <laughs> let me explain a couple of things. First of all, you can see that I have a couple of hooks on here. Let me bring it closer to you. Can you see those hooks? We got these out of the garden center at never can remember either Home, Home Depot or Lowe's, one of them. And they're just like plant hangers. Well, I'm not sure where this one will end up. It might end up right here, but this one will hold a little lantern. I'm gonna hang a little lantern on there and I'm not sure what, I have them tied on with tie wraps. See that? And the reason I've been using tie wraps, I didn't screw them in is because I wanna have the ability to move them up and down the ladder rails. You know, I also wanted so to show you too. This leans up against the wall and we got some of these little stoppers. See that on the, on the top there? We got some little stoppers so that it wouldn't, you know, ruin the wall because it does lean up against the wall. So I got that. Let me go get a picture that I, we put on there. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okie dokie, here's the picture that I put on and Chris just reminded me that we do need to move one of these hooks down. So we will be detaching it and then re positioning it and I'll show you why in just a second but this is the picture that I have put on here or plaque or chalkboard this isn't really I did not write this this came like this I got this from Hobby Lobby for $50 but I'm sure I paid half price for it so this will go on the ladder and I just hook it up straight up and down like that and then above this I will attach it with you can see we'll just put pipe cleaners and attach it with these little hooks with pipe cleaners onto the ladder rails. And then above the picture and why we need to move that one hook down is this. This will go on top. Just you can see why I need to move it. It goes on top. Are you sure we moved it up? He's saying we did, but we'll see. Anyway, it'll go on top like this and it's tilted like this. So anyway, then wrapped around the ladder, I have a Pipberry garland <laughs> with a spray already attached. And we know the spray goes around the corner of that picture. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Here's the, the Pipberry garland, it is lit. We already have plugged it in. 
So I'm gonna go away from the camera here for a second and have Chris help me, saint that he is, help me put all, get all this stuff attached and I will come back and show you what it looks like and then we'll do a few more things around it, okay? All right, be right back when we're finished that. Okie dokie everybody, we're back and here you go. This is the cozy corner. Well, the ladder all put together. As you can see, uh, we put the, the tobacco basket kind of cattywomped up there. That All of that wreath is inside is a, is a very cheap grapevine wreath wrapped with uh, cheaper pip berry garland from Hobby Lobby. And then I made this spray out of a more expensive pip berry garland from the pipberrybarn.com. I just trimmed it in half and put two ends together and tied it together with a tie wrap in the middle and added some blue and added and put it on top of a bed of green that I had also two green tufts that I had put end for end and tied together. Anyway, so and the whole spray is tied on to the pipberry garland that wraps around the ladder. So then as you can see here, here we moved one of the hooks down a good bit and it's nestled right here and that is where this lantern is hanging. But anyway, then you can see having a place to go is home, having someone to love is family and having both is a blessing. And you can see that when you're standing in front of it. So that is the way the ladder, the cozy corner ladder looks. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put my bow on. This is a funky bow and it is a, one, two, three, four, five. It looks like to be an eight loop funky bow. And I actually had made the mistake and tied this onto the little ladder over by the hearth the other day. Well, I found another funky bow that's a six loop that I actually hung on that. So I switched them. So I pulled this off. So I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to tie this funky bow right here. Then we're going to get on the floor. Or I'm going to get on the floor and we're going to do some decorating around on the floor. Okay. So let me see if I can pull you forward a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna to move to the floor. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna to move to the floor and I'll be right back. Okie dokie, here I am on the floor. And first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna work on this little corner over here to the left-hand side of the cozy corner, up, up to the left-hand side of the ladder. So this is a plant stand. Again, we got this from like Lowe's or Home Depot. And this is just nothing more than some place for me to set my Longenberger basket up on. And this just snugs right up against the credenza. The credenza is right here, as you can see. I simply wanna put my Longenberger basket up on top of this. But the first thing I wanna do, I have a navy blue tablecloth. Oh, this is an old one. This is one I used during the, for my patriotic decor on my big table. So this is actually a very large tablecloth, but I didn't spend but like $15 for it on Amazon. And all I wanna do with this is kind of unfurl it and fold it in a way that it will drape over this basket prettily. I don't necessarily want to, I want to make it like a table, you know, make this look like a little table. And I'm going to set right up on that plant stand. And next thing I want to do, remember those uh, of course I'll mess with this for a while yet. <laughs> remember those plaid 
placemats that I got and I put them on my table and then I have a placemat underneath my subwoofer over there. Well, I got napkins to match. And I think I want to put, I'm gonna drape one over this like this and just bring some more of the plaid in over here. And these were like, what were they, like 250 each or something? I'm not gonna iron it. I might pull it back off here and iron it. But I just kind of want it to hang. Mm, do I want it? Yeah, I think I'd rather have it like a triangle down in there, which I can't really do perfectly with this because it's a rectangle. Let's see. Sometimes you just have to work with things until you get them the way you want them, you know? I like that. Okay, now next I have a pillow cover that is corduroy and I have a big old 20 inch pillow frame form. And I really don't want this big of a pillow here, but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Because I, it's a feather pillow, I'm gonna smush this in here. I'll be right back when I get the pillow in the pillowcase because this can take, you know, a minute. Okay, so there we go. There's a, a pretty corduroy pillow cover. Got it from Amazon, not expensive at all. I do not want this sitting, jutting up above my credenza. See that? I don't want it jutting up above that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna smush it and I'm gonna fold it down a little bit and make it about half the size, see that? And I'm gonna snug it up in the corner. Now that does two things for me. It gets it below the credenza, see that? And it also makes a nice little backdrop to, oh, let's see. I think I wanna put this dude up here, this little guy. This is a Boyd's Bear that I got from Chris's cousin. He still has his tags on him and everything. Let me see who he is. Actually, let me see, I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> this might be interesting. This is Nelson. I don't know what year, I couldn't tell you what year, but this is Nelson. And I'm going to set old Nelson right up here like this. And that is all I'm going to do on that little design. Any cute? Okay, so next, I'm going to scooch back here. My little lantern here. Chris has rigged up for me. And today we were shopping and I was trying to spend one of my gift cards in at Home Goods, and I have something to show you. One thing that I purchased with my gift card was, hang on, something to go on my chair here, and I'm gonna pull across here. This is my, for those of you who haven't been with me for very long, this little rocking chair is what I, I just pulled this up last year, last fall. And this was my old rocking chair when I was just a little girl. And if I can find a picture, I'll put it here so you can see what I look like at a birthday. I don't know which, but two or three, I think. It's rocking in my little rocking chair. So this was mine as a child. chair in with my decor 
but I want to pull a little bit of blue in with this. And I, so I purchased this throw and it looks like a sweater. I'll tell you, I almost don't want to use it as decor, <laughs> but at this time I will, for this time I will. I may switch it out, who knows. But it's like it's a crocheted blanket. And I just want to kind of drape it on. You know, I never am very good at draping these. You know how I see some women that just drape the blankets and they make them look like they were thrown on and they just look perfect. <laughs> I am not one of those ladies. I'm just not very good at that. I don't know what my problem is. Anyway, something like that. <laughs> kind of, you know, cattywomped it on there. And then I've got this little lantern that I'm gonna snug up here and put, mm, I might put it over here and let this little lady who matches the dude up there on the, on the towel, it must be his girlfriend or his, well, actually it's his wife because I think they have a little child. <laughs> well, first of all though, hang on. I do have some more of these napkins. Now, would it be cute? Not that you guys can answer me. Let me see here. If I can kind of, I'm gonna add that over to the top. I don't like that. Ooh. I'd have to just go, instead of at an angle, just kind of hang it over the top, kind of like that. That's kind of cute. It's all about layering, you know? One layer on top of another layer on top of another layer. And every layer is important. Every little layer is important. You're not gonna be able to see that in the back, but kind of following the same line. That's kind of cute. And come here, Missy. I don't know what her name is. It's probably not Missy. Where's her tag? I don't know where her tag is. Mm, I don't know what her name is. Anyway, she's gonna sit right in there. I like her feet to show. And let's put the little girl right here next to her. Holding her little raggedy in. <laughs> cute, cute. <laughs> I'll have to get back from it and see if she needs to be tweaked or they need to be tweaked or if these don't look right or do look right or whatever. So we'll see. So let me turn you around here and we'll do some final words. Okie dokie, I'm back. And again, this is one of my very favorite cozy corners to create. And I, I just do it throughout the year. The, I use the same ladder and usually the same Pitberry Garland and picture and spray, but I, but I switch out, you know, the bears or I switch out the tablecloth or I switch out whatever, you know. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna like that plot up there. I might look all right when I get back. Looks kind of cute with this. I don't know. It, when you see the uh, final product in the video, you'll know if I decided to keep it like that or to switch it around. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'd rather it be at a point some way, but I have to figure out how to fold it. <laughs> anyway, all right. I hope that all is well with everyone. I'll tell you, uh, we're just moving on through my little blue and white cottage decor series here. And uh, I hope you're enjoying it. I sure am loving creating all of this. I just love it. It just makes me calm. It's pretty for all year. I love it. I love it. I'm not going to have to worry about coming and going and traveling and coming back. It's going to be a lovely generic decor. It's going to be lovely throughout. Anyway, let's go into some final words. Thank you guys so much again for stopping in here. I hope that all is well with everyone. And again, I'm sorry I've not been able to get back to you guys with the comments. I do try to answer questions when they are posed. And uh, 
So know that when I read your comment, I take it right to my heart. It snuggles in there and nestles in there, and that's where it stays and is cherished. And I thank you guys so much for every single comment. Uh, so let me just say that I hope that those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love you all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. So with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. But hang on, I'm gonna show you this uh, centerpiece and what I've done to the top, which isn't much, of the credenza, and then I'll do a top the bottom pan of this cozy corner and you'll see if I probably am gonna change this because it's driving me crazy as I can see it out of the corner of my eye. I don't like it. So it's gonna change. <laughs> All right, be right back. Uh, but until next time, let me just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. While I'm looking at you. Okie dokie, here we go. Right there's the cozy corner. And as you can see, I definitely did something different to the little checked napkin there. And I'll tell you what I did in a second. But first I wanted to show you the credenza. As you can see, here's the hearth and the mantle. And then we're gonna move on over here. This is one of my new table runners that I got for Christmas. And I just have my same old, same old black candlesticks. And my beautiful daughter, Kristen, our beautiful daughter, Kristen. We have a figurine, a willow tree figurine. My centerpiece I'll get back to. Another willow tree figurine. My beautiful daughter, our beautiful daughter, Candace. And then the other candlestick. I'm still tweaking, obviously. But this is a centerpiece, and very simple. It's just made in a tray. And I have uh, these two little plates that I got from the Minuteman Mini Mall. And I've got them sitting up on a couple of blocks, if you can see. And they're sitting up on little tiny little plate holders. And just some greenery and a pipberry garland run through there with some blueberries and roses, cream and or white, creamy white and blue. And then I got this bird from Cracker Barrel last year. I have one for here, and I have one that sits out in the living room too. I've got two of these birds. And then two other little birds. I don't remember where I got the little birds. But worked out to be a really cute little centerpiece. And no, I really don't light the candles too much. I did light them for a home tour one time. <laughs> uh, but oh, that's another thing. Let me know if you guys want to see a home tour of all of this decor again. I mean, some of it is gonna be new and I've tweaked it, and I'd be glad to give you another tour. Just let me know what your thoughts are on that. Anyway, over here to the cozy corner, let me pan up here and show you. And I, I do wanna put this to music, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time here. You all know how I did everything. I explained as I went. But I did wanna explain that I actually cut, with pinking shears, I cut the uh, two of the napkins to 19 by 19 inch squares. And then I folded them and then I decided to tie a, just tie a knot in the end of one. I couldn't get it to sit right. So I just tied a knot in it. And then I just made that one into a corner like I did those. So that's it. So let me put, put y'all to some music and we'll end this video then at the end of that. And I'll just say again, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Love yous. Bye-bye. <laughs>